So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. Just really because of the length of the question, I can tell that pretty immediately. Any question that's four or more lines long, I will use this strategy of translate word problem, which just means I'm going to translate as I read. I'm going to stop. I'm going to make sure I understand what I'm reading. I'm going to write down any quantitative information. I'm not going to just read the entire question all the way through and assume that I remember all the details. So this question says a granite block in the shape of a right rectangular prism has dimensions 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters by 50 centimeters. So I'm going to draw a right rectangular prism, which is just a three-dimensional rectangle. So I'm going to draw my rectangle this way. And maybe I shouldn't draw it that way, actually, because usually when dimensions are given, by the way, it's in the order of length and then width and then height. So I'm going to draw my rectangle this way just so there's no confusion on the length versus the height. And then I just draw another rectangle inside of it like this. And then I connect the vertices like that. And there's my right rectangular prism. And what, it, what am I told? I'm told that its dimensions are 30 centimeters, so the length is 30 cm. And then the width is 40, so that would be here, so 40. So it's actually longer than the length, so that's interesting. So I just got to keep that in mind because my drawing does not show that visually. Um, so that's 40. And then the height is 50. So that's actually the longest. So 50 centimeters. It may not matter or I may need to redraw this. We'll see. The block has a density of 2.8 grams. Right. So density equals 2.8 grams per cubic centimeter. Right. So per cm cubed. What is the mass of the block in grams? All right. So, and then it goes on to say density is mass per unit volume. So that's a little bit of a hint that we need to find the volume of this right rectangular prism. Um, so let's do that. So the volume, I'll go over here, volume is going to be equal to length times width times height. So that will be, it really doesn't matter what order I put it in. So I'll just say that's, you know, 30 times 40 times 50. I go to my calculator, plug that in, 30 times 40 times 50. Oops, typed something wrong. Let's try that one more time. 30 times 40 times 50 is equal to 60,000. So that's going to be 60 thousand cubic centimeters because each of these values right is in the unit of centimeters and that's uh you know i i see that i have cubic centimeters here cubic centimeters there so i'm going to say hey if i have sixty thousand centimeters cubed i can multiply that by the density which is 2.8 grams per centimeter cubed what that does for me is cross out my units here. So what I'm left with is 60,000 times 2.8 grams, which will give me the mass of the block in grams. So I'm going to multiply 60,000 times 2.8. And what I get is 168,000 grams. So that's my answer. And therefore, my solution here is choice D.